You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you go over and check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. 25% off USA First. 25% off USA First. Go now. I'm back. Rudrance for our Black and White Sports 2. Let's talk about UFC star, superstar, Conor McGregor. And we're also going to talk about Joe Rogan. Um, Conor McGregor came out. Made some political statements. By the way, he's not a big fan of forced mandates when it comes to vaccines. He's been pretty outspoken about that in the past. Uh, but uh, Connor also got caught in the shrapnel known as Joe Rogan going after The Rock over PEDs. Uh, performance enhancing drugs, steroids, blah, blah, blah. Now, Joe Rogan is, he self admitted, takes um, testosterone therapy and shockingly and i didn't know this uh especially considering i i do lift weights i didn't realize how many dudes were taking it it's uh everybody <laughs> i even talked to my doctor about it and he's like yeah and he's like dudes ask about it every day and i was like wow okay uh so anyway uh and to be honest with you i don't have a problem with that i mean i lifted for 20 years i was around guys that were all natural and guys that were straight up wind straw and deca all day long. Okay, so I've seen all sides of it, and I really don't give a rip what somebody decides to do. Well, anyway, uh, Rogan came out and was like, hey, Rock, you need to admit you're using steroids because, hey, you're in the public eye and people are getting the notion that you're doing all this naturally. Well, if you're a weightlifter, you can take one look at the Rock and realize the dude's not natural. Okay, um, I, I mean, that's just all there is to it. Uh, there's guys that's lifted for 40 years that ain't half that big and that's been very consistent with it and take their protein and all that. Most of those guys look great, but they don't look like The Rock. I can tell you that right now. Uh, so let's get to this. Again, I really don't give a rip um, what The Rock's doing or what Conor McGregor's doing with their own bodies. Um, Ireland's Conor McGregor voices public support for locals protesting mass migration. Conor McGregor has voiced his support for Dublin locals who are currently protesting mass migration policies in what appears to be his latest move backing Ireland's burgeoning populist movement. The world-famous UFC fighter Conor McGregor publicly voiced his support for many of those protesting the country's open borders migration policy on Saturday. We're getting a lot of that here. I'm in Texas. Of course, Biden keeps saying, all oh, the borders are closed. No, some bitch, they're not. Okay? God, Border Patrol's so pissed off right now they can't see straight. The mixed martial artist known as the Notorious has frequently backed talking points of the descendant right in Ireland in the recent past, previously suggesting that the island nation should consider leaving the EU and describing forced corona vaccinations as, quote, a war crime. Bravo. According to a report by Grip Media, he continued to follow this trend over the weekend, telling his 9.7 million followers that he backs a grassroots protest against Irish government's open borders immigration agenda. Taking place in the east wall part of Irish capital of Dublin, the protest erupted after the government bust in an unknown number of mostly male migrants and put them in a former office block. Demonstrations have been ongoing in the area since the arrival of migrants in mid-November with marchers now regularly blocking major roadways in Dublin in hopes of forcing a government U-turn. You know, that's kind of interesting. Um, you know, the left here protests everything. We're not down there protesting all these guys coming into the country. And, you know, you got to kind of wonder if we should be. You know, I mean, I, I don't know that that would make a situation any better. It might turn it into something even worse. You know, if 2,000 people are down there saying, hey, stay the hell out of our country. You're not welcome here. Responding to a question asking him what he would do about the protest in East Wall, should he be put in a position of power, 
McGregor emphasized that although he does not want to become a politician, he nevertheless backs those involved in the demonstration. Quote, I stand with the people of East Wall, he said in a tweet that has since been deleted, deleted as his custom. While McGregor says he does not want to move from being a fighter to a politician, he appears to be slowly making a habit of making public statements in support of populist politics in Ireland. For example, the mixed martial artist has previously backed calls to see Ireland leave the European Union and taking particular aim at the bloc's overzealous COVID vaccination regime. That is very interesting indeed. So, Joe Rogan, anyway, had said something about Conor McGregor also taking PEDs. Now, we know Joe Rogan is a UFC commentator, and he's friends with all these dudes, or most of these dudes. And uh, so Rogan make it, made an effort. He come out and made an effort. You can tell he doesn't want beef with these guys, really and truly. Uh, a lot of times, I think Joe Rogan operates that, hey, I can say, hey, maybe I think this guy's on steroids, but it's independent of what he actually thinks of the person as a person. I don't know how that works, necessarily. Uh, generally speaking, a lot of people don't react that way, okay? And I don't think Conor McGregor did either, right? So let's get to this. UFC commentator Joe Rogan is seemingly letting bygones be bygones by hailing Conor McGregor as, quote, an extraordinary human being. Rogan has repeatedly found himself in the crosshairs of the MMA superstar in recent weeks following a string of comments on his podcast my god he cut a lot of weight in that picture he doesn't even look like him jesus the veteran commentator however has refrained to snap back at the trigger happy mcgregor instead recently hailing his historic dethroning of jose aldo seven years ago during a recent episode of the podcast the 55 year old said to be a person that can do that under that kind of pressure that's an extraordinary human being Quote, there's very, very, very few of them that have ever walked the face of the earth that can do that in front of that many people and in front of in that moment, which is built up over months and months and months. Quote, really years of taunting Jose Aldo, but months and months and months. And to get to that one moment where you look at each other in the octagon and he says, McGregor, looks at him and he goes, let's go, boy. Let's go, boy. And you see Aldo's like, oh, shit. Holy shit. This is really happening. But Connor couldn't be more relaxed. That's mind management. That's confidence, preparation, intelligence, emotional intelligence. There's so many factors. But yeah, everybody's got to plan until they get hit. McGregor, 34, took exception to Rogan's recent claim that he wouldn't pass a USADA drug test following his dramatic body transformation. Yeah, I mean, look, Connor is gotten jacked. And I mean, look, he's always been in phenomenal shape and cut, but I mean, it looks like he's put 30 pounds of just pure armor on. It's nuts. I mean, he looks phenomenal whether he's juicing or not. I don't give a shit. Rogan also seemingly drew the ire of the notorious by suggesting that inactivity was to blame for his recent downfall. He said, quote, I wonder, you know, if it could be inactivity too. Inactivity is probably one of the bigger factors in his demise, maybe even more than just silk sheets. Like he said that after the Dustin Poirier fight, when Poirier knocked him out. The former two-division world champion, McGregor, hasn't set foot inside the octagon since breaking his leg in the trilogy fight against Dustin Poirier last July. But the Irishman is planning to return to the cage early next year. And although he's yet to complete this required six-month requirement in the USADA testing pool. Yeah, I think you've got to be clean for... Uh, you got to test clean for six months prior to a fight. But, I mean, if you're inactive for two years... You know, you get the point, right? And um, Rogan recently had more more plates, more dates on the YouTuber. 
And they were talking about all the... That's where all these The Rock and everybody came up, McGregor. And, uh, you know, they were talking about <laughs> there's ways to do it if you're a fighter, yada, yada, yada. It's sort of curb around uh, getting nailed, in other words, for... Uh, are they even called PEDs anymore? I don't know. Do, does anybody still call them steroids? Maybe. I, who knows? Um, maybe they do. Like I said, I, I was shocked to find out how many people do the, the test replacement stuff. Um, it, it's kind of normal now, I guess, um, because of the aging thing. They've just got so much science behind it. And Rogan self-admittedly does that. He does. He said he's done it since he was... 36 maybe 38 i don't know um i watch joe rogan a lot listen to his podcast a lot uh i like connor a lot you can see that connor leans in the direction of probably my political alignments uh, i would guess from some of the things he said uh but it's clear rogan is not wanting to start a war with connor mcgregor and um you know, he he respects all the time and effort these dudes put into things. I think um, his point with The Rock was The Rock sees so many eyeballs from the WWE and from movies that maybe uh, people are getting a false sense of, of what he's built. I don't know exactly. So, um, I don't know. I mean, if The Rock is natural, then holy shit. Wow. Okay. Um, tell me what you think. Black and white sports two supporters. Yeah, Rogan's wanting to squash this noise. And uh, McGregor's like us here in Texas. Quit letting them all cross the border. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.